Okay, we're at day seven here in, wow, what county are we in? Uh, we're in Alabama, working on our hoarder case. Um, we've seen a lot of dogs really come around amazingly so, and I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorites. Uh, I, you know, only have about 10 favorites. <laughs> but um, this is Rosie. She was found out on the property on a chain. She wasn't moving, she was absolutely just terrified, visibly shaking, um, not moving, not interacting, not even acknowledging the rescuers when they picked her up. She then went to a crate when she was here, she huddled in the back of her crate, she pooped and peed on herself, she was so scared she wouldn't even get up to do that. She wasn't eating, she wasn't drinking. Um, we just did basic general care with her, fooding, fooding, feeding and cleaning and um, general basic care. We moved her to a larger, more spacious kennel yesterday and have been spending time with her giving treats and sitting with her and she has done a complete turnaround. Um, she's still very timid but she's prancing around her cage. She's also tried to play with her kennel mate. So now I'm gonna go to have a little conversation with her. You can see what a beautiful girl she is and what a great wonderful pet she's going to be. Hi sweet Rosies. Hi sweet girl. Is that a good treat? Is that a good treat? She has an upper respiratory infection, so she's probably not feeling very well. That's probably a big part of her behavioral issues that we saw at the beginning, and now that she's been getting treatment, she's on day three of antibiotics. She's definitely spunking up. Her fur is starting to shine. Um, her eyes are clearing up quite a bit. And um, she was actually witnessed kennel mate playing with the dog in the kennel next to her. <laughs> So as you can see, she's coming around really nicely. She's going to make somebody just an absolutely awesome pet. Whatever we do for her, she appreciates so much. And seeing a dog go from huddled in a ball to on a chain with no protection to laying on her little bed with her little bone that she likes and getting treats and accepting just the fact that she's accepting my touch right now is an absolute 100 500% change from where she was. Um, she's just a gorgeous little girl, and we're so happy we could do this for her. She really needed to get out of there, and she's doing so well here. And this is just a temporary shelter, so once she actually gets into a home, she's just going to be a beautiful, appreciative, grateful, happy girl. Huh, Rosie? <laughs> 